Hi, I'm JJ Lohr with Lohr Lightning Protection in Richmond, Virginia. I'm going to talk to you real quickly about lightning protection for your home. As you can see here, we've got a model with the lightning protection system installed on the building. And we have a Tesla coil, which we are striking the building with. And you can see that the charge goes to the air terminal and does not damage the house. Now, when you put one of these things on your residence, you're providing a path for lightning to dissipate without damaging the structure. In other words, you're using a very low resistance path, which is the air terminals and the conductor, to ground, to driven ground rods below grade, to give lightning and waves to dissipate without damaging the interior of the house, the structure of the house, or any of the high resistance materials of the house, like roof, brick, etc. And JJ, one big myth is if you put these on your house, you're actually attracting lightning. That's a total myth, yeah. You're not attracting lightning by putting a lightning protection system. If anything, you're changing the flow around that structure. It's definitely less, in my opinion, less likely to even be struck. Yeah. What are some other myths that you have to deal with? Uh, well, that lightning, once it strikes one place, it's never going to strike again. It, it does strike the same place twice. It actually tends to pick on places, I've found. There's, there's, there's hot spots that, uh, where lightning seems to really, uh, there's a lot of activity. And the other one is that it only strikes the highest point on the house. Yeah, um, it, or it only strikes tall objects. You know, lightning strikes in a step fashion when it's going from cloud to earth. Lots of times, things are just in the way as lightning is making its way down to wherever it's going. Typically, those are high points, trees, smokestacks, chimneys on a house, etc. And what are some facts, including just how much damage it does in the U.S.? Lightning is responsible for more damage in the U.S. than hurricanes and uh, tornadoes combined. It causes billions of dollars in damage in the USA alone, and those statistics tend to trend upward each year because as we build more and expand more throughout the country, we're finding more and more places are vulnerable to lightning strikes. How long does it take to have lightning protection installed on a house, and, and what's the price range? A uh, typical residence, something like this, would run about uh, a day with a, with a normal sized crew. So it's a pretty quick installation. Uh, the typical cost you know, varies a lot on the architecture of the building and the roof type and steepness and all that. But you know, your average home, something like that, a couple thousand dollars. And that's maintenance free.